So in this video, I'm going to rummage through my enormous art supply bag, show you all the stuff I have in it, and maybe I need to start <laughs> thinning it out a little bit. Um, I have a pack of Star Wars pencils I got as a gift at one point. I haven't opened it, but they all look like lightsabers. But I figured when I run, if I run out of pencils, I got a pack of of number twos right here. Probably need to use them pretty soon before the erasers go bad. But uh, somehow I have a pack of these uh, puffy cat stickers, and I think I bought these to make things for my wife, uh, like cards and stuff. So uh, when I uh, like a lot of times we make our own birthday cards or Christmas cards to each other, and we buy things that each of us like like she buys like Star Wars or Star Trek things and I'll buy cute animals and then if I make a card for her I'll stick these on it another pack of number twos with Star Wars on them um, uh, this is uh, a little tin and oh there's some Harry Potter uh, puffy stickers also for making cards for my wife because uh, this is a little tin of uh, uh, fine pins this is, uh, is a gold metallic pin and some calligraphy pins good drawing pencil and other calligraphy pins Here is uh, Skin Tones of the World uh, colored pencils. Uh, I I'm, I agree with some of these, but I'm not sure about the green and I'm not sure about the blue. There was a blue guy who uh, ate silver nitrate, so I think they wanted to cover him. I have no idea about the green. Maybe for sick people. Uh, bought these in Italy. These are um, Giotto. These are uh, quite good colored pencils. And I like to use them if I'm going to do a serious piece of art. Um, when I want to lay down good color. This is a good brand. Um... And there, this was seven euros ninety cents in Italy. I can't remember where I was when I bought it, but they're pretty easy to find if you're in Italy. This is modeling clay. A little gob of each one. Uh, sometimes I'll make things in modeling clay um, just to get my creative juices going. So I have the set. It's kind of hard because if it's chilly, it gets hard, but you need, need it in your fingers and it softens up. This is another modeling compound. It's sort of a sand, but it holds its shape. But it also easily crumbles too. But it can be used for certain things. It's like memory sand, I guess you could say. Uh, I have quite a lot of model magic that I use, and if you see my videos in the past, you know that I use this every now and then to make something. I especially like to make little ta ancient tablets and so forth. Uh, these are twisters. They're colored pencils that twist up like, uh, like pins. So if you uh, don't have to sharpen them. You can just twist it up. That's the, the benefit of that. They, they work pretty good. I think I did a, a recent video where I used these. Uh, here's a, a instruction book on how to do calligraphy. Um, I like to practice my lettering. 
one thing I like to do is write on parchment and um, this is a good way to practice your calligraphy letters and numbers. And if you watch my channel, you know I do like pen and ink kind of stuff a lot. I bought these and did a video with them not that long ago. It's just a regular 64 Crayola pack, but it had Darth Vader on it. And it has some Star Wars themed crayons. And some of them are quite shiny. So you can see metallic. And I was pretty impressed with it. I like some of the shiny metallic colors. This is Neon Colored Pencils by Crazy Art. And I can't remember which dollar store I bought these in, but uh, uh, I don't really look like I've started using these yet. But uh, it looks like at some point I wanted to do some kind of project that required these. And I must have forgotten about it when I got home. One of my many uh, sketchbooks. And if time permits in this video, I might sketch a little bit. Another sketchbook. A drawing pad with cheaper paper. A thick paper drawing and painting pad. Uh, a pencil sketching pad. Another sketch pad. A clipboard. So if I want to put one piece of paper on here, I can draw on that. Uh, here is just some uh, staplers, stapler removers. I got this. this a small thing of tape, a small highlighter, a small hole puncher. <laughs> it was a little free thing I got for going to meet the firms when I was in college. More puppy stickers to make cards with. Here's a pack of washable markers. Um, here's a pack of drawing pencils. I bought these in Paris. Um, and Mary and I went to Luxembourg Park and we sat all day to draw pictures and, uh, we, um, it was a beautiful day, you know, we got, you know, there was some food stands so we bought some crepes some hot cocoa, drawed pictures, then a bird, uh, pooped on Mary's sketch pad. It was really kind of sad, but, uh, I kept this. I bought it at Monoprix, which is like a... Just a regular old store. Uh, <laughs> so this, these aren't like, this wasn't purchased in an art supply store. We bought all this on the fly so we could have a sketching day. This is uh, one of my pencil sharpeners. And I keep it in a bag so I can sharpen it and the, uh, the shavings don't go everywhere. And another one. <laughs> I think I might have a hundred of these. Um, creative photo corners. Um... One of the things I was working on is I wanted to uh, do some mixed media artwork and put some photos in it, old photos, and do these old style corners. And I can't remember what I was working on, but I still have them. A fresh pack of Model Magic. Still feels very soft. Magic tape. Even more magical tape. Um, these are super tip washable markers for, I think the dark ones are scented for some reason. Uh, this is a gum eraser, a kneadable eraser. more model magic. I need to do some more model magic videos. I really like this stuff. Um, 
this is this hard this is what I was also going to use on the photo mixed media project this thick black cardstock um, I'm not sure what I bought this for some looks like a small pipe cleaner or something thank you cards you always need these. You can never have enough of them. Uh, here's a set of charcoals. Uh, charcoals are fun to draw with. They lay down thick lines. They're great for shading. They're a little messy, but they can make some great pictures. I love to have charcoals. Uh, one portable drawing kit that sometimes I take if I'm going somewhere has oh, let me. this portable drawing kit has um, a set of drawing pencils and a set of colored pencils it also comes with a sharpener some shading paper and an eraser and uh, this is something if I'm off to the beach or something like that. I uh, this is something I can grab and at least have the the bare minimum stuff to draw. If as long as I have, if I grab one of these and one of my sketch pads, another drawing pad, cheap one but just fun to do one. Uh, much more expensive pad that I use like in my map drawing videos. Um, some of my other videos. Ah, poster board. Um, cardstock. Uh, I still haven't decided what I want to do with it, but it's useful to cut out things. A little bit more durable if you want to draw a picture and be able to cut it out. Manila folders. And... This was also, there's some homework in here from a photography class I took when I was getting my master's. Uh, here's uh, sleeve, protective sleeves. Small protective sleeves for a small binder. Small manila holders for some specific craft work. Ah, some uh, sculpting compound. Need to do, need to work on that. Some more sculpting compound. I could do an action figure. This is the air dry kind. Oh no no no! It's oven bake, oven bake clay. You sculpt something and you bake it, and you have a permanent piece. Uh, more of these cool folders. Um, this is kind of a police themed. More some creative photo corners. I really need to sort this out. Here's another one of the crazy art colored pencil sets. I don't know if I, I think I might have used these a little bit. Thick, strong leads. I don't know how well they lay down color, but. Here is a. 64 Crayola box classic Crayola box I always like to have these I like to do a lot of crayon videos I like to um, I like the sound crayons make here is a 64 box of play school crayons not as good as Crayola Hundred rose art markers. They're really not that bad. 
Um, they're washable. I've done a lot of work with these. Uh, they're for what the small amount I paid for them. They're pretty good. Um, <laughs> a big old pack of number twos. You can never have enough pencils, in my opinion. I don't even know if these guys have been sharpened. Nope. Fresh pencils. If I ever really strike out in life, I can put these in a cup and sell them on Wall Street. Um, oil pastels. They've been thoroughly used. Grey Tone Pastels. Not used as much. And that is everything in my, my bag. Now maybe I'll try to put it back in a more of an organized fashion. So let's see. Maybe we... Maybe we start with putting that sketchbook sort of thing. So... Take this sketchbook. Let's start just stacking them in there. Alright, uh, durable travel set. And then this drawing pad. My clipboard. And this stack of sketchbooks. And I'm gonna put in my rose art here. Now the bag seems to be standing up, so I could put in 64 boxes of crayons. The other 64 box of crayons. Let's slide these sheet protectors in there. Vanilla folders. Push the mark to go on the side. This cardstock can go in here. And I've got all these little flat odds and ends, like the sticker sets and these. Make sure I got all of it. And then let's put it in. It's flat. Pastels, I can go here. Pencils fit here. Modeling compound roller. Now this is all I got left of all this modeling compound and stuff. So 
I guess it's looking pretty organized in there. Put this in here. Into my tape. No matter what, I just don't know if this bag is even big enough to be big enough for all of my supplies. But I put the clay. compound and model magic there we have it <laughs> and I forgot to put in the thank you cards so now it's even worse than it was when I first started it so I'm gonna have to redo this Let's take all this model compound out I need to really use this. I really love these. This is just happy memories. These my old French pencils. You can see the ones I like to use the most because they're the softer ones. So we draw.
Oh, looks like I'm getting started on sort of a sword on the stone drawing. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you like what you see here, click the bell icon. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll be back.